Ladies and gentlemen, I am back at it again with a brand new Ben 10 Customs video. Back at it again. Okay, that's a really, really outdated meme. But regardless, ladies and gents, welcome, welcome back to a brand new showcase. I want to thank you guys for the support on the last one. I uploaded it and I honestly was like, okay, it'll be cool if we get like, you know, 500 600 likes we're almost at 2,000 likes which is insanely epic and oh i think the last time that i checked close to 200,000 views which is insanely epic so thank you guys so very much for your support i do want to thank you guys if you want to see more ben 10 customs you guys know the drill hit that like button down below share this video with a family member or friend that would be highly appreciated check out the other one that if you haven't yet and let's get to showcasing some of the characters that we've designed so first and foremost we have ben 10 still with us this is a remaining character from last time so yeah i didn't update him or anything like that because i'm pretty happy with the way he turned out i like being able to have the green lantern ring as kind of an omnitrix so i think that he is a pretty cool design and therefore i just kept him on the team was that the riddler right there sure it looked like the riddler especially from here but the one thing we did do this time is instead of having 11 aliens designed we built another human character and this was ben 1000 so from the future we have ben 1000 you can see that we did his design quite a bit differently with the omnitrix glow on the right hand or sorry on the correct hand and what i mean by that is the left hand so he's looking pretty cool obviously a little bit of a different look than what we have for ben 10 there they are actually side by side so you could see ben 1000 has the beard different hairstyle uh different outfit for the most part and uh, i think he turned out quite well as well but now it's time for the exciting stuff, and that's the aliens that we've designed. So let's get into it. Don't forget, down in the comment section below, let me know what your favorite design is out of all the ones that we have designed here. Let's kick things off with Harley Quinn. No, I'm joking. That was a mistake. Let's kick things off with Stinkfly. So Stinkfly was an exceptionally difficult character to design because we needed to have orange wings. And unfortunately, this is the only wing type that you can recolor in the game because there's a bit of a glitch right now in the game where you can't recolor uh, the wings. Um, like the man bat wings, for example, cannot be recolored and stuff like that. So that does sort of stink. And I wish there was a way to recolor those wings because they would actually work better. But overall, I still do think we got a pretty fantastic looking character here in Stinkfly and a pretty cool design indeed. Back to Ben 10 we go. And from Ben 10, it's time to transform once more to our next alien. And that will be Grey Matter. Now give it a second here for just one minute because he does need to actually shrink down. So here is the tiny variation of Grey Matter. And as you can see, he is far smaller than even human Ban 10 and he is far smaller than the giant characters that we've built in the past like humongosaur and things like that so we did include that ability we also did go on ahead and actually um right here and give him the drone ability because it made sense for a very tech smart type character to include that ability so that was another cool addition there for him to have i think you can actually call in yeah you can even call in a drone which turns out to be um i think pretty much bigger than gray matter which is kind of funny so maybe he could hop onto that and then use it as like an actual vehicle so uh that's actually sort of funny so regardless though let's go on ahead and transform back into ben 10 and then back and forth we go to our next character this was the most controversial i think personally uh out of all the ones that we've designed and this was wrath because it was insanely difficult to design a character that looks like a tiger we sort of did an all right job uh, I feel like maybe if I built this guy right when the Tigress uh, skin or character model was available, maybe we could have used something from those Lego pieces. But regardless, it was just a really tough character to build because it's just tough to figure out how you design something that looks like a tiger when you don't have any of the correct bits or pieces. So we did our very, very best in trying to maintain some sort of accuracy for this guy. And overall, I'm still pretty happy, but I certainly do think we could have done better. Now, if you guys have put together this design and have done a better job, please do not hesitate to share that with me over on Twitter or Instagram at Blitzwinger. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with. So from there, we transition to one of my favorites. I think this is one of the best designs that we put together. And this is Swamp Fire. Who turned out really really well basically any character that has the flaming head can turn out well because we have that lego piece in this game but i think we really didn't even nail the costume i think that looks really cool i think the flame effects look fantastic i think the oh i didn't hmm okay maybe it didn't save 
the flame uh, blast, but we do have the actual like regular blasts, so you can fire those off, which is pretty neat. And uh, overall, I really, really love the way that this design turned out. One of my personal favorites from this particular batch, because I think it's one of the most accurate and honestly, it's one of the coolest looking. So from there, we transition to our next alien, which on, I was actually surprised. A lot of you guys like this design, and I thought it turned out pretty cool as well. And this is Blocks from Ben 10, the character that is made out of what literally looks like Lego blocks. So it felt like it'd be very appropriate to include that build in here for this particular showcase and uh, in this particular game, because after all, it's a Lego game. So I feel like we put together a pretty sweet looking character in the character of Blocks. From there, we're going to go on ahead and transition to Ben 10 because we did give him the ability to uh, grow in scale because in some of the pictures on Google, he did look ginormous. So, yeah, he looks kind of massive over here. But uh, we're going to transition to Ben 10 and then continue onwards to probably the least like design out of this entire batch, and that is Jet Ray. <laughs> oh, man, I got so much grief over this one. This is the one that a lot of people really, really did not like, but I still will stand by it as a very unique looking costume. At least it has that going for it. Jet Ray was just one of those designs that you guys suggested that was just so difficult to even remotely try to make close to what we need or like make it accurate. So it's really tough to actually design this guy. But I tried my very best to do kind of an inspired by Jet Ray look. So because of that, I kind of still like the way that this one turned out now we're gonna take righty guys so having transitioned a location and restarted the game we've got our next character and that is going to be the one and only way big now i'm not gonna try to be too too i guess uh, promotional here and like trying to be like oh yeah i did an awesome job but i have to say this is my favorite design out of all the ones that we have for this showcase i am just so stoked with the way that this one turned out i think that this looks so cool it's accurate it's a cool design and i think it's just a very complete look like it doesn't look like a custom it looks like something that was really put together from head to toe to look like way big from ben 10. Again, just my opinion on that one, but I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think, whether or not you like the design. And of course, this one does have the ability to go big because I assume since his name is way big, he should be able to become way big. Otherwise, why is his name way big? But then again, I don't know much about Ben 10. And sometimes I go off of uh, things that just make sense on the basis of design. So this is the next uh, alien that we're looking at. And this is Spider Monkey. This is a controversial one because this one was insanely difficult, just like Jet Ray, because any character in from Ben 10 that has, let's say, a multitude of arms or a tail and a multitude of arms and wings, it's impossible to translate all of that into Lego DC Supervillains because there's a lot of limitations uh, as far as what I can do. But we did manage to include the tail. Unfortunately, we did not include the very crucial component of the additional pair of arms uh, because there's just no way to include that as well as the other elements. But I still think that what we do have here is pretty cool. We do have some cool elements to this design and I think we did a pretty good job, all things considered, how difficult it is to translate that design. Next up, we have Water Hazard, which was a bit of a controversial pick, but uh, I actually really, really like the way that this one turned out. It's supposed to look like a crab type creature, sort of. And I think we sort of kind of nailed some of that. We have the water splash attack available, which is pretty sweet. We have a water blaster available as well. So you can go on ahead and put out fires and things like that. So we have all the correct abilities included for this guy. Double jump, which is looking pretty stylish. I wish I could have made him glide with water effects. I think that would have looked cool. Unfortunately, there's no way to do that in the customizer of the game. So that's a bit of a bummer because if there was, we would have totally done that and that would have been fantastic. And then, of course, we still have one more alien to look at and this would be Wild Vine. Again, one of the ones similarly to Spider Monkey that was very difficult to get perfectly correct because there is certain variations of Wild Vine where he has a multitude of legs. It's basically like five or six like roots for legs. So that was kind of difficult to obviously translate into this game because again, I don't have a way to just 
be like going to customizer and go like, yeah, and make this character have five legs. So because of that, we kind of improvised and we went for the two-legged version of Wild Wine. We still managed to do the kind of color that he has around him. So I think that turned out really cool. Unfortunately, couldn't get the eye to be blue, but we got the one single eye look. So I think we did nail a lot of the elements for this look. Again, this batch of aliens was so much more difficult to create than the first one that you guys suggested and i definitely acknowledge that so again maybe this is the finale of this series but that's really up to you guys to decide if you want to see more ben 10 customs hit that like button subscribe of course guys have an absolutely fantastic day and i'll see you all later alligators oh yeah and don't forget let me know in the comment section below which one was your favorite design maybe it was ben 1000 wild vine water hazard spider monkey way big jet ray blocks swamp fire wrath gray matter or stink fly having a great day guys and i'll see you later alligators